All right, good morning. Thank you for the opportunity today to come out. Uh, we've just, I'm Ken Pimlot, I'm the director for Cal Fire. Uh, with me today, we have the leadership, uh, in addition to Governor Brown, who we have just briefed on the status of this fire and the statewide fire conditions. I also have with me the Adjutant General for California, uh, General Dave Baldwin, and the Office of Emergency Services Director, Ma uh, Mark Gellarducci. Uh, as you will hear, and we can provide you some specific updates on this fire, but we continue to make good progress on this and many of the other fires burning throughout California. But as we have talked about all summer, we are facing record fuel dry conditions across this state. That has led to well above average the number of fires since the beginning of May. And with this fire and others, we're certainly in, uh, stretching the number of acres in record that we have burned. Uh, this fire uh, within the last uh, 24 hours has exceeded uh, the size of the 1987 Stanislaw complex fire and has now ranked within the top 20 largest fires uh, in California's history. So very serious fire. But we've also got almost 3,700 personnel uh, engaged in this firefight uh, from all over California, uh, the nation, and have support internationally uh, if we need it with various assets. We are all working together to put this, uh, to, to deal with this emergency, uh, both from the local level, uh, all the way up through the state and our federal partners. Uh, with that, I'd like to open it up to Governor Brown to say a few words. Okay. Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> well, it's obvious that the firefighters have uh, a real challenge on their hands. It's something that happens in California almost every year. This one is one of the worst, and it uh, just uh, underscores how important it is to have the funding, to have the talent, to have the leadership at both the state, the local, and the federal level. And that's happening. And I want to express my appreciation to all those who are fighting this fire, who are breathing the bad air, and who are working the long hours. This is something that uh, we have to live with. It may even get worse in years to come, but California will be ready for it. And whatever it takes, uh, I'm going to make sure that the resources are deployed. And uh, the President called me just yesterday. Uh, he expressed his support. Whatever we need, uh, he'll, he'll provide. So between the state and the federal government and uh, local officials, we'll, we'll get it done. If you have any questions, I'll be good. Well, from what the briefing I got, they're doing everything they can to protect the power lines. And uh, after that, of course, when you burn down everything, you got uh, a moonscape out there that with floods can contaminate the water. So uh, firefighters are doing the best they can. And if you want to get a more expert answer, I would refer it to one of these gentlemen behind me. Are you asking for help from the president, from the federal government at this point? Well, I think we have what we need, but uh, this is a uh, kind of a daily, uh, every day we take a look at it, and whatever I'm requested, uh, I'll certainly not hesitate uh, to call President Obama if I think uh, we need more than we have. Are you more comfortable today than two days ago? Well, since they said it's 15 percent uh, contained, that's double 7 percent, so yeah, I'm, I'm 7 percent more confident than I was yesterday. <laughs> Can you talk about the strain that this puts on the state's resources? Uh, I know you budget for this, but this is a big deal. What kind of a strain well, is the, it? Well, the state generates two trillion, approximately, of wealth every year, and so we have, we'll have the resources. But there's uh, lots of problems: education, uh, law enforcement, fires, water, energy. Uh, we just have to take them in priority order. Uh, but this fire underscores that there are always uh, contingencies out there. There's things we don't expect. So. Some people like to say, well, we got some extra money, let's go spend it on one program or another. Well, we do have to keep a, a decent reserve, so when the unexpected uh, happens, uh, we're ready for it. So we don't, this is August, what's going to happen in September in terms of fires, we don't know. But I'm sure they're going to cost us money, and the state of California has that money because we've cut, we had Proposition 30, uh, but there's plenty of uh, call on the resources. Uh, so I'll, but... Uh, Fire safety is right at the top. Governor, yeah. can, I, can I ask you just about yeah. firefighter safety? This is on the heels of 
terrible tragedy in Arizona. You've got nearly 4,000 firefighters uh, on the line with this thing. Uh, what are your What are your concerns? What are your orders to uh, to the commanders in terms of making sure that the priorities are straight and firefighters are are safe? Well, we got a good team here. They're doing everything they can to fight the fire and fight it safely. I'd rather ask. Who's our safety man? Is that you? Good. Thank you, Governor. Uh, obviously, firefighter safety is one of our top priorities. Uh, firefighters understand the risks they place uh, and place themselves in harm way to protect life and property. But we, our first priority is to give them a fighting chance to do that safely. And so we are very uh, cognizant. There have been very few injuries on this fire. We want to keep it that way. But we also recognize this area uh, on the Stanislaw National Forest uh, has had history of, of fatality fires. Uh, in the last 30 years uh, to firefighters. So we are very cognizant of the terrain and the fuel conditions and the fighter behavior that occurs here. Uh, absolutely something we take very seriously. Okay, anything else? All right. Can, let me ask you about the water supply for San Francisco, Governor. You, you talked about the power concerns. What about the water concerns for San Francisco? Well, the water concern is if uh, as the months go on, the winters come and the floods move all the ash and uh, loose debris onto the water and the water gets contaminated, that's bad. So uh, whatever the firefighters can do to prevent that, we're doing. And then after the fire is contained, then more action will be taken. Governor, anything you'd like to say to the people in California about the fire season? Well, just to make sure you clear your property, uh, everybody needs to do that. Second of all, the government has a very important role to pl uh, play. That takes money. And we're going to husband the resources but we have to spend what it takes. Uh, otherwise, you get real, you get a worse disaster than we already have. So California has uh, got real talent uh, and, a, and a very expert team to fight fires, but it takes money. And it's going to take more money before we get finished. And we are going to have to ask the president probably to pitch in some more before the season is over. Thank you.